<sighs> oh, Big John got it in first. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, that was a little better. Uh, all right, there we go. <laughs> all right, y'all. What's up, everybody? Let me get my beer stroke in. Oh, yeah. Look at that beer stroke. Ooh, that beer is getting long again. I trimmed it up a little bit a couple months ago. But now it's starting to come back a little bit more. All right. Oh, yeah. Knuckle cracks. Ooh, yeah. There was some nice knuckle cracks there. All right. So, what are we here for today? We're here for another one of them taste tests. It's taste test time. Yeah. All right. So, y'all heard Big John there. Big John, what are we going to be taste testing today? Oh, yeah. Move the bottle. Because the bottle's in the, in the image. We don't want to give nobody no hints. We don't want to be shocked and shocked and all. <laughs> shocked and all. <laughs> That's what taste testing is all about, folks. <laughs> Shock and awe. All right, so, hello, America. Hello, everyone else. Nice to see you. All right, so uh, today we're testing a uh, drinky drink. And unfortunately, it's not an adult drinky drink. It's a... I mean, who can think it? Well, let's let's see what it tastes like first. Uh, I don't know if the alcohol may or may not help it. Uh, but yeah, this is a family type uh, drinky drink, and it comes in a bottle. It comes in a dark bottle. <laughs> oh my! And it is Sprecker. Sprecker. Maple root beer. Mm. I know, I know, mm. I know. That does not, maple and root beer don't go together. I what? know. I know. It could. It, well, you know, you can put maple in anything, I was told. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what you were told. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And I, well, I haven't been told, but. I have experienced that maple and root beer don't go together. Oh! But what the heck? I have not had this particular maple and root beer uh, drink in the past. How does this work? All heck? right, come on, you baby boomer. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. I thought you were a bartender. Yeah, oh, I never I used one of these. What yeah, had a bottle? Yeah, there you there go. go. There you go. Do I have use to a... bend that? No. No, no you, you can actually close that. Oh, my goodness. You need help, Grandpa. Oh, my goodness. No, no. What in the world? Oh, yeah, you got to start it. Oh, there you go. Ah, he did it. You know, Big John has a couple of issues open packages. It's yeah. okay, though. You know, it's funny. I did used to be a bartender, <laughs> and I've never had a can opener or bottle opener such as say, this. You say, well, you're opening bottles with a can opener, no wonder. No wonder, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Uh, well, hey, all right. Open up a bottle of wine and yeah. a cork. Now that I can figure out. All right. You got a little knife on there. <laughs> Don't take this on an airplane. You can't get it through TSA. Man. They're going to take yep. that away from you. Exactly. <sighs> Ooh. I'm giving this the old Blake sniff test. And uh, that's uh, uh, smells mostly like root beer. I got this from the liquor store next door. Yeah? Yeah. But I'm wondering why I got this. Because, I mean, it looks cool. Maybe you got a bottle of wine from them uh, on, on one occasion. Maybe, but this looks new. And it's called Houdini. Maybe that's why, it's Maybe that's why you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that looks thick. It's got maple syrup. Maybe. Oh, man. Ooh. That looks like... The bottom half of a Guinness <laughs> ale. Oh man! You ever had Guinness? I have. Oh. And uh, yeah, it's 
It's for thick-necked guys named Gunter. <laughs> and I am not one of them. And, uh, yeah. This is, uh... Smells like root beer, but... Super sweet root beer. I mean, I don't really smell a maple. A maple uh, aroma to it. But maybe I'll taste it. Smell it. Boy. You know, there's a. Uh, in Germany, there's a uh, liqueur that uh, happens to be my personal favorite liqueur. It's called Jägermeister. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jägermeister oh. smells and tastes like medicine. This smells and tastes like medicine, mm. but uh, there's Jaeger. no alcohol involved. Yeah, I could do Jaeger shooters all day. I'd be drunk on my ass, but I could do them all day. <laughs> all right. Yeah. you to me. Ah. Oh, man. Just had a big one burp come out. Tastes like tapatio. <laughs> Oh yeah, that tastes like pour some Jaeger in there. Super sweet. Oh, I wish we had some. Yeah, yeah, you don't have any. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't drink that stuff. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this tastes like super sweet root beer. I don't. I guess the super sweetness is just from the maple. You got so. some fruity whiskey though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got some Blackberry Crown. And Peach. And Peach Crown. And I don't think either one of those would go with this because no, that no, would no. just make it syrup. <laughs> and I'm just not into drinking syrup. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to give this a... Ooh. Half thumb. Oh, I'll give it a half thumb. I could have gone higher if it uh, didn't taste like medicine. And well, if it didn't taste like Jaeger, and if it had alcohol, <laughs> I could go higher. <laughs> but uh, since it does not taste, since it does not have alcohol, and it tastes like Jaeger, I'm giving it a half thumb. That's as good as it gets. Yeah. There you go. Y'all heard it. Big John, half thumb. All right. Now it's time for a Big Norm. All right, y'all. So, I give it the old Blake Sniff test. It smells kind of like root beerish. All right. So, whoa. Oh, it's still freezer cold. Got some ice coming out of there. Oh, maybe that's why it didn't taste right, because it's still slushy. Hmm. All right. Maybe it's super thick. So to speak. Yeah. So, just so you guys know, I got this from one of my coworkers. I mentioned her in the past. Her name was, well, I didn't have a nickname for her. So, because I didn't have a nickname for her, I called her uh, Blue Hair because her hair is blue. So, I found out what her nickname is. Yes. Her nickname is Wild Style. Yeah, buddy. So now she's gonna be Blue Haired Wild Style. All right. You're going to combine it all until she changes her color of her hair. She goes rainbow bright all the time, you know. It could be pink and orange tomorrow, or, yeah. you know, purple and black in the next day. Who knows? But anyway, Wild Style got me this. We were, uh, uh, there's another one of our coworkers who sells maple syrup. And uh, we bought some maple syrup from uh, that person and, uh, it's pretty tasty. And so she bought some maple syrup from that guy. And when she thought about the maple syrup, she thought about this. And she knows I do taste those videos because her and her husband subscribe. And subscribe. Here we go. So let's go ahead and give it the old Lake Sniff test. It smells a root berry. It smells a little mapley. Yep. And here we go with the test.
Hmm. I don't really get the maple out of it. I get the root beer. It's not very carbonated, but <laughs> it still yields. Still comes out in that big number. <laughs> All right. One last sip. Mm. I could drink that. I could. I'm not a big fan of root beer, but I could drink this. I'm more of the fruity flavor type. A beverage drinker, but yeah, I'm a root beer fan. I, I enjoy a good A and W root beer. Oh, you know what might go good with this? Well, what might go good with this? One of the ice creams we got the Death by Chocolate, maybe? No, no. not the Death by Chocolate. All the Panda Paws is gone. Yeah, uh, we got Banana Grand, mm. Banana mm. and Maple Root Beer Float. That might actually go well. Uh, excuse me, you'll try? Give you kind of a bananas foster effect. Oh, see, see, see? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> you'll try? Why not? All right, hold on, y'all. We're going to have a big John try now. Here we go. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. And through the magic of the pause button, I managed to go get the banana gram, banana pudding ice cream. And I'm going to pour some in Big John's. Wait, do you want the ice cream first or the soda first? Yeah, ice cream first. Is ice okay. cream first? It doesn't right. matter. You want more? Yeah. Oh, all right. Whoa, look at that. Easy now. Hey, oh, oh hey. Oh, oh, there's a big chunk of graham, graham cracker. All right. Uh, I missed that in my taste test video of this. Okay. that's good. All right, so I'm going to try some too. All right. I'm going to give mine a... Root beer float banana gram. Y'all getting two videos out of one. Alright, yeah. A little bit. Uh -oh. oh, now the drinks oh. are gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. That's one way to get rid of all this uh, maple uh, root beer. Alright. No, oh, man. Go ahead and pause again. Alright, y'all, do the magic yeah. of the pause button again. Got a spoons. Got our ice cream, got our float. Let's We're see. doing this. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that is. We have created a new taste sensation. And what do we call it? Big North banana pudding ice cream with Graham Cracker and a blue hair wild style Sprecker's root beer float. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. Of a course. AKA <laughs> the banana root beer float. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's actually good. <laughs> Unbelievable. See? Told you. Creative thinking. All right. It's all the power of the, you know what would go good with this? Because, <laughs> I mean, if we put some, lots of chip dip in this, <laughs> that'd probably be pretty disgusting. Yeah. But we're not, we're not going to because we don't have any. All right. Wow. So, oh, I got my ceiling fan, y'all. All right. Now that we've taken up 15 minutes of your time, whew, we created a new drink. We tried the Sprecher's maple root beer, and then we made a banana pudding uh, root beer float, maple root beer float. All right. So if you guys like this video, oh, I didn't give you a rating on my tasting of the maple uh, root beer. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> I'm going to give that a three-quarter thumb up. It was tasty. Well, one thing that goes without saying, it always passes the big Norm burp test. Yeah, no doubt. It passes it. <laughs> but I'm going to give the banana pudding 
maple root beer float. Well, banana ice cream. Banana pudding ice cream. Uh, maple Can root beer float. Give that two thumbs up. See how we got a thumbs up from me, and we got a thumbs up from Big John. Big John. <laughs> all right, yeah. So that's all good right there. We got all that done. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up on the YouTube. Love it. And then subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. Big Norm 763 That way you'll get uh, all my videos after you hit that notification bell because you'll get notified every time I post a video. And then yeah. you go ahead and share, share this with your friends and family. Let them all know. Try uh, uh, the Big Norm. Banana pudding, graham cracker, maple or wild, blue-haired wild style root maple. <laughs> wait, hold on, let's, let's go on from the beginning. Start that over. A big norm, banana pudding with graham cracker, wild style sprickers, maple root beer float. See, when you say it, it's slow, it's easy. All right. <laughs> so after you do all that, go ahead and leave us a comment. Go like, hey, Big Nerd, y'all creating some hell of a combinations out there. That's not really good. I'm going to go out and try that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, go out there and try I that. I suggest it. I all recommend right. it. Cool. All right, y'all heard it from us first. Big John, Big Nerd. Yeah. Later on, y'all know what to do. Cool. Peace right. out. Later. See you.